back with BJJ Weekly. <laughs> that was a good intro there. You think so? You what is sing? I said, I don't know. Bitch, I got a question for you. Uh oh. Yeah, you always ask me this question. Now I get it. I don't. A don't you, you saw it. We've, we've been doing this ten times, and every time I've deflected everything to you. Yeah. Now we're gonna. Turn You're around. like you. I have a question about for that. you. No, I got a question for you. Yeah. Why did you make you start BJJ Weekly? Like nine years ago. I mean, no. Seven, oh, wow. seven, eight years ago. That's a loaded question. Yeah. No. You wanna hear? I wanna hear, but I wanna hear in one minute. I can't do it in one minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, serious. I no, wanna hear, like, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I want to know. I want to okay. know, like, what made you do the BJJ week? Well, that's no. that's serious. Well, I'll like, ask you this question. I, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. If not only me, this. you're telling a thousand people. Yeah, why? <laughs> well, thousand. I started it with another guy, Bill Thomas, um, back in 2010, maybe. This is what happened. I, I had a, I was a young entrepreneur, mm -hmm. right? Uh, started a business out of my college apartment mm -hmm. when I was younger. Um, and I quit. I dropped out my senior year, mm -hmm. started the business. Uh, I'd cut my teeth at a marketing agency and I was into, you know, marketing and new media, all the design stuff. So I started this business. It was really successful. Mm -hmm. And in 2008, nine, the economy like just crashed mm -hmm. you, you remember that oh, yeah, I do. a lot of businesses were affected for mm -hmm. us uh, we lost 65 percent of our business overnight wow man. yeah man one of the toughest times of my life i had to you know sell off all the uh, earthly possessions dirt bikes four-wheelers snowmobiles you know and uh kind of figure out wow what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I had built a lot of brands for a lot of companies. Used to do a lot of work for like a Quicksilver, Rosignol, mm -hmm. Ski Company, um, a lot of, lot, just a lot of brands, built a lot of brands. And um, really, I was able to salvage a small part of the business and, and sell it. And it gave me a kind of a year to take a breather. And during that year, we started BJJ Weekly. Um, Bill came to me with the idea, and man, we just went head first, arms tucked, and we just dove in. Wow. And uh, we're like, let's just make a free publication so we give us an excuse to travel a around, you know, the country training jujitsu. That's it. That's it. That's that was it. the whole reason. That's, that's the, yeah, that's the, it's a perfect the crime. Dream. Yeah, the yeah, dream. it was yeah. awesome. So that's what we did. Um, it was, I mean, in my opinion, I think back then was the only one, right? So the best. Oh yeah, the best, the only, the best. Yeah, it was I a passion. A bunch of fun, a bunch. A straight, a straight, after. straight passion project. Nice. And uh, after that year of doing that, I had to get back into real life, uh -huh. and that's when I actually, you know, we launched. Origin. Origin. Huh? So, yeah. Cool story. Uh, you know, it's good because people don't know. They don't know why yeah. you started. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm passionate about thank BJJ. You, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're so, welcome. Uh, let me share in this <laughs> little technique that little I actually technique. this technique, Pete, again, Man, I'm became feeling so huge. bad. I got sunburned the other day. You did? You go to the beach? No. No. I had to coach a triple header lacrosse game. Holy cow. Man. Triple header in the sun oh, wow. on my bald that's head. Crazy. I have this, uh, it's a boys team, but I have, a, I have a, a few girls on the team. I have this one girl, I'm telling you, she's going to play Division One lacrosse if she wants to. She's in seventh grade. Oh, is the one that I watched on the game? Oh, you she's came and watched her the wow, other day. Wow, she stopped. She's, she's, she's good. Tuning these, she's good. She is tuning these boys up. Kind of reminds me of jiu-jitsu. Like, like I, the reason I love lacrosse is because it's such a technical sport, right? When you look at what you need to be an athlete in that sport, and I'm sure there's other sports like mm -hmm, this, but mm -hmm. mine is lacrosse. So, so... You don't have to be the most athletic kid. You don't have to be the strongest kid. But as far as learning the stick skills, kids with a lacrosse IQ and stick skills can be extremely successful regardless of gender, right? And jiu-jitsu is the same way. Have you ever heard of, like, jiu-jitsu IQ? I'm coining it, jiu-jitsu IQ. We're going to start a new section in BJJ Weekly mm -hmm. about learning about jiu-jitsu IQ. Right? You've got to have a good jiu-jitsu IQ to be successful. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, if you're big, small, weak, strong. It doesn't matter. You've got to, you got to understand the technique you know, and, and, and how to That's apply the cool. technique. That's so, cool. I mean, it's very, I love it because it's very similar. Nice. You know? Nice. So tell me, tell so me this about this technique. So this technique became very famous. I mean, very famous. Like at the camp, 
uh, order our, camp. our immersion camp. They uh, the immersion camp last year. I mean, I showed this technique three years ago, and I've been showing three years in a row. Right. Because they always show me ask that one again. Me, show me show, that please, it's always, always. And the funny, the guys. You know the order camp. The guy's been coming to the order camp since number one, camp right. one. Seven, uh, six years this year. And every year they're like, Dedeco, you know the the origin elite page. Dedeco, can you post that video again? Can you post? I have this technique video. I save it on my phone. So when people ask me, I just send, send it, to it to them. them. It's yeah. it's so it's a choke. So that now I you're do. gonna share it with the world. I'm gonna share with the the world, and I hope they like it. You know because I like a lot, and I do this tech. I truly do this a lot, and so it is a. It's hard sometimes to do a clock choke. Why? As soon as you come with your hand, your friend blocks your hand. Right. right? They go, I had to wake up with Brian there to block my hand. He was asleep. <laughs> he was out a little bit. So he blocked my hand, right? What I do is, instead of keep fighting to get a clock choke, I grab the semicolon. Ah, oh, so he's just like, oh, I defended it. It's nothing here. He's just hanging on to me for a grip. Exactly. Then I go to like an inverted, not inverted, but it's like a little different, like a loop shave, choke on my hand. Shave in the head. Yeah. So I go around and I pull it. Then I go to a regular loop choke. I go with my hand behind his neck and I roll over. I fit my head right on the on the space there between his knee and his elbow. His elbow and I just roll over. But I think the cool setup there is, when you hold the semicolon, he, he, he really doesn't know that it's a choke there. He doesn't, right. he does, doesn't bother him. So nobody cares, like they don't really care. I mean, now they, like at the school, my students know I like that choke, so what do they do? They hold my hand right away. Right. But it's before, like it's, nobody figured it was a choking coming from there. So you can see again, you run, you know, block, a lot. let him block, let him feel comfortable, and then you get the semi collar. Maybe you can pull the collar a little bit just to mess with him, up. loosen it up, and you can adjust you always as you go. Let it go, and it goes to the loop choke. So the deco, man, I like that. I like that. I'm all about the entries, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. when you're grappling with other black belts, you know, I love, I love grappling with, with white, blue, purple, brown, black. I love grappling with everybody mm -hmm. because you can work on different parts of your game with, with different people. Yep, yep, you know, I mean, you want to you wanna really, you want to really see how your technique's mm -hmm. going to work, roll with, a, roll with a, a really brand new white belt who's super strong and athletic. Mm -hmm. Then you can see how the techniques work. You know what I mean? Yep, but, yep. but as far as when For a sure. black belt's concerned, it's, it does start to become a chess match, purple, brown, black, a real chess match, and it's all always like, okay, this is, you know, you're you're constantly playing an offensive defensive game. Yeah, it seems. it's like pretty much you don't even feel the grip. Yeah, you don't you're exactly. Like, okay, what what he's holding here? Why why what are he's looking for? And that's the invisible part, right? And, and that's having a high jujitsu IQ, right? So your IQ at that that's this moment in time, your IQ is higher than your opponent's because he doesn't see that chess move. He can't see the whole board. He's not seeing that 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 queen in the back. No, right? No, he feels comfortable. Yeah, he very feels comfortable. Like, you know, he feels like, oh, I'm comfortable here, I'm good, and I'm, I'm... So walk me through the details one more time, if you uh, want. So the number one is that, Peach, I fake the choke. You know, like, I want to really, like, uh, like exaggerate most, so like, to go to the clock choke. I wanna, right. He thinks, like, oh, my God, clock choke's coming, and then he's, like, block. I want him to get the feeling that I, he won. Right. I want that. Right. He's not choking me. It sounds funny, it. but I love it. I love it. Like when we grapple, I think right. that I like yeah. to do. Oh, I'm winning. Yeah, yeah. He's know? not getting that choke. He's not getting that choke. That's the feeling that I want. And then I get the semicolon and I start to open just to mess with him. And he's like, oh, he doesn't have anything here. And then I. S now, when you loop, you loop must do it road. fast. A very fast. It's a fast loop. The cool part is you can grab the lapel really loose or you can grab it really tight. Because on the same time that you're looping, you can move your hand around. I can go higher. I can go lower. doesn't gotcha. matter. It's just like a zipper. Right. You're, doing, you're zipping your, your jacket. It's just zip up, zip down. Right. It's very simple. And then you turn your hand. I keep my palm outside all the time. A little strain on your my wrist. Forearm, exactly. Yeah. And I want my forearm hitting his neck. Right. So I go. Then I fit my hand in like a regular loop choke. Of course, I do in fast speed. I don't do it slow that move. It's right. more in like And you some dive speed. Your And head I head dive in. my head in that hole. In the hole. Why? Before, actually. And roll it right onto your face. Man. 
I hurt my nose so bad. <laughs> I look like Rodolf. Rodolf? Do you know Rodolf? Rudolph the, the Red Nose oh, Reindeer. I, I had a purple nose. No, was he Rudolph didn't. The purple You're nose. like, oh, I got yeah. this guy. For a while, Fought, Pete. Dragged his ass For right on your while. face. Oh, right in my face. Right in my face. So that's when I started to fit my hat in there. Yeah. <laughs> It is serious, man. Serious. I tap it. He didn't tap. I didn't tap him. I tap. <laughs> oh shit. Nose lock. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> nose lock. Nose lock. Yeah, man. Seriously, not kidding. Yeah. Look out so for that, that you know you're learning from your sneaky, mistakes. You know, sneaky and I nose lock. So and see, my roll, hat roll, is roll. clear, nice. I keep my pretty face in the going for. And now see he's locked my, in. Did you see how my hand gets really tweaked in there? Yeah. So the cool part of this. Because when it gets this twig and I pull, I'm also moving Brian. Right. And gets tighter on his neck. And I know, also noticed you walked. People don't realize another invisible jujitsu jiu IQ. Mm -hmm. All right. We're I gonna like start. His name. All right. We're going to break it out. Jujitsu IQ. IQ. People notice. Notice this. As your hand's coming under his head, people don't realize how much strength they have in their fingers. Walking their fingers. Walk when their I fingers. when you're choke, you can walk yeah. your fingers down your arm. Walk your fingers mount. You can walk your fingers under their arm. Yeah. You know, Super so strong. You know how I explain the kids? Funny spider walk. Spider Spiders walk. in your hands. Walk like a spider in your hand. Nice. That's how I tell the kids. Other thing too, Pete. If you notice that my hand keeps going through. I don't use in my forearm to press his neck and make the choke work. What I do. I keep it going through with my forearm. Right. So my forearm, it's just keep moving through, walking my fingers. Nice. I don't use my forearm like a, to push his neck. It's just walking Walking through. it. Using the leverage against him. Exactly. That's a cool one. Man, I People like, like that one a lot. Yeah, they ask all the time. I one. think I talked a little too much this time. I'd rather you talked. But no, we both. We both going to talk. I got to ask you questions. <laughs> no, I don't want questions. Oh, we going to. Deco, thanks again for Thank another great so week. Thank you so much, Appreciate it, my friend. We'll Thank talk to you. you soon. Talk to you soon.